In this video, we're going to look at creating a webhook for contact information. There are three different types of webhooks that we can send out at this time, and there will eventually become more. But right now, we can send out a webhook from the contact field area. We can send out a webhook from the notifications area, and we can send one out from the labels area. And in this video, we're going to look at the contact area. So to create a webhook, we need to go out to where webhooks are and we need to actually create a link. I'm going to use Zapier for this example. If you watched the video before this, there are other alternatives to Zapier if that's not a good fit for you, <clears throat> if you want something free or cheaper or, or whatever. And we want this webhook. And I'm going to, you know, I'll type it just to show you. You can usually type webhook in whatever service you're using and you'll get an option for webhooks. We want to do an event, and what we want to do with these events on, for, for this one here we're doing for contact info, and also for the other ones that I'm going to show you in other videos, what we want is a catch hook. We need to catch that information and send it off. So hit catch hook, hit continue, and it'll give you a URL. So before I grab that URL, let's make this contact info, and I'm going to copy that to the clipboard. Now we need to go to Genius Messenger and load that in. Now I have a test one I think in there that I'll delete. So if we go to webhooks, let's delete that. Oops, yes, delete it. Okay. So once you've copied the webhook, hit create webhooks and give it a title. I want to name this the same thing I named the zap, just so I can remember that goes with that. Contact info. And we're going to paste that webhook in and we're going to hit add. <clears throat> so that's the link. The webhook is there. It'll show up and we can select it in several different areas. Now if you go back to Zapier, you're going to see we, we can't find anything because it hasn't been used yet. If you hit test trigger, there's nothing there because we haven't used it yet to send any data. So for the contact webhook, for ones that's going to pass on contact information, there are two places you can use it. At this very moment, you can't use it here, but there is in the G-icon where you've got these different areas, the one with the email uh, symbol will capture email and phone number. And you have to enter it, but you, you can put that in there and it'll capture it. And there'll be a box between phone and update that'll have a webhook drop down that you'll be able to send that straight to a webhook. For the moment, because we haven't added that yet, it's coming in the next day or two, simply go to Messages and click the little blue circle next to, to the left of the name. Okay? And for Doug Terry... You know, we're just going to use, I'm just going to use this as an example. We'll put in test at test.com, and I'll do, let me do a real, uh, we'll do a real, you know, uh, area code, and hit save, okay? So now we have data. Now we need to send that data out, and I click webhook. I select the webhook I want to send that information to, which is contact info, send data to webhook. Okay? Now... Let's test that trigger, and now we have some info. We have first name, last name, what label they have, what the email is, and what the phone number is. We also have a profile image. There's an issue right now with uh, Facebook profile images. As you can see, they don't come up. Some of them do, some don't, most don't. Um, that's being worked on, but you do capture the URL for that and some other data. So we have that, and now we've got that the catch hook built for a contact thing. Now, this can go out anywhere. I'm going to I'm going to send this info out as an example. Okay, just to show you how this works. But you can send this anywhere now. Now that you're capturing the information in Messenger, you put this person's info in, you hit webhook, you can select which webhook you want, hit send data, and boom, it sends it off, and that data is going to do something. What is it going to do? It's going to do whatever action we now tell it to do. You can send, you've got an email and a phone number, right? You can send it to an email autoresponder. You can send it to a text marketing software. You can send it to one of your CRMs where you store client data. You can send it to a Google Sheet uh, that's just stored on Google Drive, and you can send it out to there. I'm going to send it to my text marketing service, Chirply, and just give you an example of how this is done. So whatever you're doing, select that, that event that you want to create that's going to send this data. And what I want to do is sync a lead. Now, I could send a text or do some other things. I want to sync a lead. And that's what I want to do. I want to put this lead with the name and the, and the phone number and all of that over to my system. <clears throat> so I need to have an account. And if you don't have one, connect a new one. Select the account that you have. And when you're creating your first zap for something, if you don't have 
uh, already loaded it into Zapier or into IFTTT or whatever software you're using, you might need to hit connect a new account. And it'll go out and it'll tell you what to do to get the information to connect that account. Now we'll hit continue and we need to do some actions. Well, what do I want to do? The only one that's required here is I need to add this person to a list. So let's add them to a list when I send data. Maybe I want to send them to a particular campaign. Now keep in mind, if you have campaigns and things like that and you send it to a campaign, you may want to call this, uh, instead of contact info, you might want to call it contact info real estate demo campaign because that might you might need a different contact info webhook if you want them to go to a different campaign. Whenever you select that webhook, this is what it's going to do. It's going to send this action out um, to this location here and it's going to set up all these different actions that we're telling it to do. Um, I want to add the phone number, correct? So we go in here and we insert data from the catch hook, show all the options, and what we want to do is whatever data is in that friend phone field, we want that sent. We want their email sent. So again, show all options, friend email. Now it's going to send that. First name, there it is. Last name, there it is. Don't have website, don't have address, don't have company name, don't need that. I can hit continue and I can see the information that it's going to put it in a list. It's going to put it in the campaign name. It's going to add the phone number, email, first name, last name. And these three are going to be empty. And I can hit test and continue. And it worked. I came at phone number is a valid phone. And I knew that might happen by typing one, two, three in uh, for the exchange. But so at least it went out. It went out to my system. My system said, hey, whoa, I don't want this. It's not the right phone number. Uh, it's not a real phone number. And it came back as false. But it did It did work. It, it, the data was sent uh, in well enough that the data was evaluated and rejected. And I can turn that zap on. And now that it's on, anytime I go into Genius Messenger, and I click webhook and I have data in the, you know, if, if I have data in the, um, whoops, if I have data in the contact information and I click webhook and I select the webhook that I want the data to go to, I send data to webhook and boom, there it goes. And again, just as a reminder, uh, within a day or two, we will also be able to send it right here from the chat area. So that's it for sending webhooks that have the contact information area and in stuff to it. And again, if you need to do more than one thing, maybe you're going to have a webhook for people in, in one type of label, uh, but you're going to do something different if someone has a different type of label. You can simply go to Messenger and, whoops, you can go to Messenger and go to webhooks and you can create multiple webhooks. Maybe this is contact info for cold leads, contact info for customers, and you'll send them to different places and do different things with them. So hopefully that's clear. If it's not, um, hit us up, let us know. <laughs> we'll help you the best we can. In the next video, I will show you how to do the label fields. And in the video after that, we'll look at notifications.